Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and thinky fillers. Today, we're featuring Gaia Project, designed by Jens Drogemuller and Helga Ostertag, and published by Z-Man Games and almost, I think, like 11 other publishers. Welcome, everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. I'm your host, Edward Euler, and you guys know these folks. Amanda Euler. And just Matt. Just Matt. Just Matt. Before we start, big shout out to our 691 patrons. Without them, this ain't happening. And a special shout out to Dan B, part of our small council, as well as one of our patrons. So thanks, Dan, for making all this possible. So tonight, Gaia Project, uh, Terra Mystica in space. Yup. Terra Mystica, five years more developed. Kinda. Yeah. If you're familiar with Terra Mystica, this is going to feel extremely familiar, but different. And if you're not familiar with Terra Mystica, well, welcome. That should be fun. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to rock and roll tonight? Y'all ready? Yeah, let's go. So, as always, I'm going to take the cameras down and the chat during the teach. And we'll go from there. So, in Gaia Project, each player controls one of the 14 factions striving to peacefully colonize the Terra Mystica galaxy. Each faction has different environmental needs to survive on a planet. These needs have led the factions to master terraforming, enabling them to make different planet types habitable for themselves. During the game, we're going to be colonizing new planets, upgrading mines into better structures, and uniting planets to form federations. The choice is yours. Will you expand near other factions, which might give you power and trade partners, or will you look for solitude where you can expand more freely? In addition, you'll need to research and discover new technologies to improve your skills. In the end, only the best developed faction will win. So Gaia Project. So the best way that I know how to explain this is I'm going to briefly go over what you guys are looking at here in front of you and then go over basically a, a general how to play and then kind of teach it as we go. I think that's the best way to go about doing it. So we have the actual board. It's made up of 10 different platters or little uh, yeah, platters, for lack of a better way to put it. Now, this is the standard setup somewhat. I say somewhat because the three colors that we're playing actually are not the standard three-player setup, but the three-player setup for those colors are as you see it. Uh, you, we all have different planets, so red can start out that their home planet is red, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, pretty simple. Over at the very top, we have our... Our, our bonus income, our, our tiles there, that were our starter bonuses that we're going to have. Over here, if you're familiar with Terra Mystica, you have the cult track here, though. It's going to be six different technologies that we're going to advance and the different technologies that we're going to acquire. On our player boards, everyone starts with some amount of mines, as you can see down here at the bottom. These are going to upgrade into... Uh, trade buildings and then from there they're going to branch out either going up here or upgrading to different buildings to then be able to get more research tiles which are going to give us bonuses throughout the game. Over in front in between Matt and Amanda we have a board in which is going to show the six rounds that the game takes place and then some in-game scoring that's going to take place over there at the bottom of the track. Also, we have the victory point track that goes around the outside over here and our federation tokens, as you can see over there. Then we have variable turn order. This is going to be one of the kind of mods or the add-on uh, things that actually came in the Terra Mystica expansion, but is in the base game in this, and there's no reason to not play with it. So that's kind of what you guys are looking at. Also on the player boards, we have our money track, which are going to be these two yellow markers. Then we have our knowledge, which are the blue markers, and our ore. And then there is QIC, which is a kind of a wild resource that is going to be used throughout the game. And again, if you're familiar with Terra Mystica, our uh, power pool, in which these are going to allow us for special abilities to be able to spend as we manipulate these around the board. <clears throat> and excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold a little bit, y'all. So, the goal of the game is victory points, as you can see around the outside of the track. The game is going to take place over six rounds. Those six rounds, and each at, uh, during or at the end of each of those rounds, there's going to be uh, some amount of scoring when you do a special thing. Those are randomly set up at the beginning of the game. 
During those six rounds, each round is going to play out the exact same over the course of the same four phases. The four phases are income, the second phase is the Gaia phase, the third is the actions phase, and finally there is a simple <coughs> cleanup phase. So the income phase is pretty simple. So anytime you see this little hand symbol, a little hand out like this, as you can see on these as well, you're going to get that income. Anytime it's uncovered on your player board, you're going to get that amount of income of whatever it is, whether it's ore, knowledge, money, etc., etc. As well as on these different research tracks up here, you're going to have some of these that represent income as you acquire them and on our starter tiles or the, uh, the player tiles that are going to change throughout the game. So after everybody simultaneously gets their income, there's going to be a Gaia phase. And a Gaia phase is going to be as simple as, and I'll explain this more in detail, if someone has planned for it for the previous round, they're going to essentially terraform some of these purple planets that are out here into these green planets, which turn into Gaia planets, which allow players to then terraform onto that, or I should say, be able to colonize and build on them. Uh, as they go throughout the game. To be able to do so, we're going to be able to use these Gaia formers as we acquire them. To be able to acquire them, you must go up the purple track. As you can see, Amanda already, her faction starts out with one of her Gaia formers right there. More on that later. Then there are a total of seven, essentially really eight different actions that you can take throughout the game. Now on your turn, the active player is going to take one action, one main action, and possibly some free <coughs> actions, and then turn's going to go in this order until players pass, which is one of the actions. So easiest way to go about this, go through what the eight actions are. So action number one is going to be building a mine. Well, to be able to build a mine, there has to be three conditions. It's empty, so each of these planets can only hold one building on them. Now, we're putting these off to the side because uh, otherwise they kind of blend in a little bit. So you can see that there is a red mine on this planet already. But it has to be empty. It has to be accessible from one of your planets. And everybody starts out with a range of one, meaning directly adjacent. So, for instance, this red planet is directly adjacent to that orange one, whereas it is not, so Matt does not, I'm sorry, me, I'm used to Matt being red, mm -hmm. I do not have range to either of those planets since it's two away. Need to advance that technology to be able to further your ability to explore further. And last but not least, it has to be habitable by your faction. So right here on our player boards, it shows the different types of planets and how many terraform levels uh, that it's going to take to be able to make it habitable. So the closer it is to the red planet, or the red planets out here, so you can see here, the blue and the orange planets are only one terraform away, and the cost to terraform right now is going to be three ore. So if, for instance, I wanted to terraform this brown planet, it is empty, it is within my range, and the brown would cost me a total of three terraforms which is three of those, so that will cost me nine ore. Unfortunately, I only start out with four ore, so that's a problem, but you get the idea. Once you do that to terraform it to the color planet that you need, you then need to pay whatever the cost is over here on the left-hand side. So you can see here that to be able to build a mine, and you must start out by building a mine, it's going to be two money and one ore, in addition to any terraforming costs that you must do to then be able to put that out there. Unlike in Terra Mystica, you don't change the color of the planet, you just gain access to that specific planet. And there you go, boom, that's building a mine. Any questions on that? No. no. All right, so going into the second possible action, which is starting a Gaia project, hence the name of the game and that is this one right here. To be able to begin a Gaia project, again, you must have advanced already onto the purple track, which means you will have gotten access to one of your Gaia formers. To be able to do that, to start a Gaia project, you have to have three things. You have to have an available Gaia former. I don't have access to these yet, and obviously I wouldn't. Amanda, as a good example, does, so we'll use her as an example. The second thing is have access to a trans-dim planet without a Gaia former 
on it. So if you take a look at blue on the top of the board, she is directly adjacent to one of those trans dim planets, i.e. one of the purple ones. So, okay, that's step two. And then number three, she must spend the necessary power. And that power is going to be six power. So to be able to do so, she would have to take six of her power tokens and move them into the Gaia project there. And boom, they're the, they sit there until the next round. In the next round, when we get to the Gaia, and Amanda would actually put out one of her Gaia formers out there onto the trans dim planet. Step two in the next round will then be to turn that into a Gaia planet and that Gaia former will stay out there. It's important to note that Amanda controls that planet, but she has not colonized that planet, so it doesn't count for the space between uh, different planets, et cetera, et cetera. All that means is she's claimed that planet, nobody else can build on it. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Cool, all right, so that is, and then when she did that, she would then empty all of this during the second phase, and Amanda's special ability, one of hers for her faction, is they go into the second bowl of power, whereas the rest of us here, it all goes into our one bowl. So that's the second one, starting the Gaia project. Any questions on that? No. <coughs> all right, so, Third option is upgrading existing structures. So this is how you go from a mine to a trading station and then from a trading station to either your planetary institute or over into your research lab. And then once you get a research lab, from a research lab to an academy. So you might be asking yourself, so. how do you do that? Well, that's pretty simple. When you upgrade a structure, you're going to say, hey, I'm upgrading a structure. So for instance, if I chose to upgrade this structure here into a trading post, I would pay three or six money and then two ore to be able to do so, and that would be my action. The difference between the three and the six is within your if you are neighbor if you are within a neighboring uh, other power. So these two are neighboring; they are within two spaces. Two spaces being the key here. If I were to upgrade this one, I'm out here by myself. And even this one is out here by myself because I'm closest is three away using the closest path. So unfortunately, because I'm not within two, I then would have to pay the higher value, i.e. the six money, to be able to upgrade in addition to the two ore. <coughs> it's important to note you don't need to terraform because you've already done that because you have a mine on there already. Also, when you upgrade this, it's going to uncover a different resource. But here's the catch. Not only that, but if you're replacing that, what happens? That means now that's going to come back and you always fill from right to left and empty left to right. There is an exception over here with these two. But it's going to change what your income is in a given round. That makes sense? <coughs> and then once it's a trading house or a trading station, you now have a choice. You either go to your planetary institute or one of your research labs. Now, I'm going to further upgrade on a subsequent action. I would spend the five money and the three, or maybe I upgrade here to a research lab. And the reason I want to show you guys this is, again, that would go there. This would then go there. That changes my income on a subsequent turn. But let me point out this little silhouette that's here on our boards. It's in kind of this I don't know, five-sided shape right here, which also matches these different research uh, tiles that are out here. The reason I want to point that out is because anytime you build one of these five structures, you get one of these research tiles. Now, if you choose one of the three bottom ones, you, you can never have duplicates of them and they're permanent bonuses for your faction. When you get one of these three, you then can freely advance any one of the six tracks that are up there. However, if you choose one of those six, and those are randomly put out there at the beginning of the game, then you have to upgrade that track. So if I were to take this one, I would have to upgrade that one. That makes sense? Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's upgrading existing structures. Any questions there? Nope. Cool. All right. Moving on. I'm going to actually skip number four right now, which is forming a, f a federation and move into the research progress. Now, this one's pretty simple right here. You'll notice right here on the main board, which research, which is what we were just talking, these different technologies, this costs a total of four knowledge. You would spend four knowledge. Notice only start with three, unfortunately, and you can upgrade any one of the tracks. Pretty simple. 
if any of these tracks have a white outline and a little tiny little white star, which is perfectly clear in person, maybe not so much on camera, I apologize about that, it's a one-time immediate get as soon as you acquire that, that level, all right? However, just like income, if it has that little hand under it, you're going to get that on a recurring basis during your income. The onus is on you to remember that. Mm -hmm. Cool? Pretty simple. If you cross over the threshold on any of these from the second level to the third level, you'll notice that you will immediately get three power. So that kind of makes a good segue into getting power. So if I were, and I'm throwing everybody off because I'm actually playing red today <laughs> instead of yellow, if I were to spend the four knowledge and I say I'm going to bump up to this, I would immediately, it would cost me one ore to terraform going forward. However, I'm going to get three power. So let me direct you to the three bowls of power. I start out with four in bowl number two and two in bowl number one. To be able to upgrade, you can only spend power when it's in bowl number three, but you cannot move anything from bowl number two to three until one is empty. So if I just got three power, I would go one, two, bowl one is now empty, and now I could, oh, bowl three, there we go. At any point, you can always discard one of these, and by discard, I mean out of the game, into the general supply to then freely move one over, as you can see here, which is going to give you different abilities out here, which we'll talk about <coughs> soon. So that's how getting power and manipulating power works on that. Any questions there? No. Cool. All right. So that is option number five. Number six here is actually going to be power and QIC actions, which are these that are down here on the board. So the game comes with a bunch of these basically blocked off markers mm -hmm. over here, which what these say is it as your action, you could spend any of those amount of power, again, spending power from bowl three into bowl one, that amount to be able to get those different things, whether it's three knowledge, terraform twice, uh, double shovel, if you will, from Terra mm -hmm. Mystica. This is gain two extra power, which what that would mean is as simple as take two from the supply and add them into bowl number one which again, it makes it slower to move it around, but for some of these bigger power, that might be beneficial for you. But you spend them from bowl three, move them into bowl one. Any questions on any of those? And when somebody takes that given action on a turn, it's blocked off, nobody else can take that action this round. Again, six rounds in the game. The QIC actions, there are a total of three of them available. Those get blocked off just like the others over here. And spending QIC here, allows you two, three, and four respectively to take those actions. This is get three victory points and one extra victory point for every different color planet that you have uh, terraform or that you have colonized. This is take a second federation token, score it a second time I should say, and the third one is take one of the extra resource uh, research okay. tiles. It's important to note you cannot have the same research tile more than once, and then there are the advanced research tiles up top. To be able to get either of those, any of those top level research, the advanced ones, you must be advanced into four or five to be able to take it, to claim it, and that is one way to do so. Any questions on those? Cool? Good. Moving on. Then there's the special actions which is option number seven. The special actions, there are two available in the game which are on those tiles up there that we're going to be able to get. The two orange ones up there work just like these tiles. They are in action, they are one-time use, and we'll cover them as we go throughout mm -hmm. the game. Pretty simple. There are two last actions, and one of which is forming a federation, or I think this is a town, I think it's called, in Terra Mystica. Yes. So let me direct your attention to, on the player board, the top level buildings have a power score or a power level of three. Then the middle are a power level of two and the mines are a power level of one. To be able to form a federation, you must have a total uh, adjacent group of seven power worth of buildings. So for instance, if I had this guy I had built out here, that would be worth a power of three this would be a power of two for five total, and maybe I had gotten a power 
of one there and maybe I had come out here and done a power of one. Now, that's a total of seven power worth of federation or of uh, uh, different, uh, I should say, the power value of the colonized planets. Now, you'll notice that these are not directly adjacent to one another whereas these are directly adjacent to one another. So you might be asking yourself, Self. how do you go ahead and form a federation? Well, it takes an action, and that's where these cubes come into play, which are satellites. So to be able to put satellites, these basically are the glue that put the federation together. So if this is on this planet, and just to make this really clear for you guys, I have to make these directly adjacent to one another. So I would have to put out a total of, let's see, we could do that. And now that's a total of four satellites that I would have to put to where every one is connected to the other within that federation. To be able to put out a satellite, that's a total of four satellites, I would have to discard out of the game into the supply for power. Does not matter where it comes from, but it has to come off your board. Ouch. Yes. But that's now a federation. So to be able to signify it, you put one of these little Federation tokens out there, and then you get one of the Federation <coughs> tiles that are out here, and these should be down there. There we go. Which, they're going to get you some amount of victory points and some other bonus. Those are also going to be to allow you to move up from level 4 up to level 5 on the given research tracks. Mm -hmm. Cool? So that, and potentially worth victory points, uh as you go along, along with the victory points that you get on the Federation tiles. Any questions on those? Cool? Good. All right, the last action is pass, which is pretty simple. So when you pass, because we're playing with the variable turn order, you're gonna move your marker up. I will probably forget. Peanut Gallery, help me out with that. So we move that over, and whichever tile that you have taken, you're going to discard, and you can only take one of the available tiles that are up there. You're gonna turn it face down, next to your board to signify that you passed and you're done for the round. Mm -hmm. Everybody else keeps taking actions until they're done. The tile that I have discarded is available to anybody who passes after me. However, it's not available to anybody that passed before me. Why? Because I still own it. Correct. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So after all that, I should briefly go over the free actions, which you can see right here, spending power or or, which are going to get you various things, and the QICs, which you can discard either for one or or to give you a plus two for your distance to be able to uh, colonize and terraform other planets further away if you forego advancing on that track. Mm -hmm. So those are free actions. You can do these at any time. I also should point out that once you have built your planetary institute, your faction special ability now comes into play. So for me, for instance, whoopsie. I can spend money for QIC, for or or for knowledge as I see fit freely. Okay, Amanda's is she gets to spend power uh, to be able to do things as After she takes I, them out of the right. Gaia uh, project and mats. <clears throat> Mine are my federation only needs to be six power as opposed to seven for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So that's it. There, uh, I lied. There is one <coughs> other thing, and I want to point this out, and this is a passive action which is charging power. So if Amanda were to upgrade this mine to a trading, uh, a trading building, she would pay the associated cost, in this case because it's within a neighboring of two of another uh, player's building, she would pay the lower amount, i.e. the three money and the two ore. Then every person, every other player, their highest value building that is uh, within that neighboring bonus can voluntarily choose to gain power at a cost of power minus one victory point. So for instance, this has a power value of one. So it's one power for zero victory points, i.e. Matt could take one free power. Nope. From mm -hmm. bowl, bowl one, one to bowl right. two. There we go. So that bowl would one. cost him nothing. However, if instead of Matt being there, let's say I were here, this being the lowest value building that I have close, that has a power level of two, I could then choose, if I wish, to get two power, moving those up, sacrificing one point, hence why we start at 10 mm -hmm. points each. You cannot partially do that. You can't be like, you know what, I just want one power for no points. Sorry, it's all or nothing in that case. After that, 
Uh, we go into phase four once everyone is passed, which is cleanup, which is remove all the tokens from any of these blocking spaces. We're going to flip all the round boosters, those face up that are next to us. And then we're gonna remove the round scoring tile. We'll move into the next scoring round. And then we go do that six times. Then we go into final scoring. And I will briefly go over final scoring just for uh, completion sake, and then we'll get started. See if there's any questions from the peanut gallery. So final scoring, these change, the two end game scoring, the two end game scoring tiles out there are going to score 18, 12, six, and zero respectively. So in this case, 18, 12, and six for whoever gets them. So the two of them are, the top one is whoever has uh, colonized the most Gaia planets, meaning these green ones. And if we have turned any of these purple ones into mm -hmm. Gaia planets, and then the other one is whoever owns the most structures, meaning physically the most structures out here on the board, not including satellites. There is a lost planet, which if we get there, we'll cover that then. So we'll score that 18, 12, 6, divide in, or add and divide mm -hmm. if tied. Then from there, we go into research scoring, which is to the far right. Over here. There we go. So if anybody has acquired level for every level at three, four, and five, they would score four points. So if someone has made it up to a level four, they would score four, eight points for that research, working our way all the way across. And then you'll get a pittance yes. for all of your resources left over. Whoever has the most points wins. And that, folks, is Gaia, Gaia Project. Project. Cool. All right. So that said, Let's go and bring up the camera. We'll reset. I will take all of my stuff down because I imagine folks don't want me to cheat. It's Place really, your bets right now. Really and, not fair. And quick reminder, I am playing red tonight. So <laughs> keep in mind that Matt is not the one that is... Uh, Matt and I have swapped colors just to throw you guys off your game. <laughs> Happens every once in a while. Right? Seriously. Uh, occasionally. <clears throat> keep oh, you on your toes. I did not right? get my... QIC? Cool. All right, let me bring everything up. All right. So place your bets now, y'all, and there we go. Hi, everybody. All right, cool. Big gulp because it's low energy day. That's why. <laughs> you guys don't see me drink sodas on streams very much, do y'all? And by very much, I think this is probably the first time. Yep. And I did talk about it on the show. By the way, People say we don't talk about the podcast ever on the show, so um, we have a podcast. Go to heavycardboard.com. Listen to the podcast. It's pretty good. Reese's. You can't ever open a Reese's and not finish it. Personal rule, but feel strongly about it. You don't have to eat it all yourself. You just, so. I'm not touching it. Matt, we'll probably have some of this. And Tuesday, we may have a full pound of Reese's between the four or five of us. Still not it touching were. it. All right. Hey, Matthew. Welcome. And again, welcome, everybody. Yes. So, and thank you, cool. Steph. Cool. All right. There you go, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony's got it right. All right, cool. So we randomly drew, and by randomly drew, we just said Amanda's going to start, and we're going to go clockwise. So Matt actually begins by choosing one of the round bonuses. So he chooses one of those, and then I will in reverse player order, and we'll go for it. All right. I'm that a, was pretty succinct, take, I think, overall. I'm yeah, take the... Uh, <coughs> um, so I start with money. I can use money for different things. I don't really have a plan going into the game here. You are here. the space chickens. I am the... Oh, I suppose we should mention who we are. I am the space chickens, the Hatch Hallis, which I will go ahead and read off what we are. So, I, my special ability? None. But my Planetary Institute, I can spend money for that, basically. Mm -hmm. And Amanda, who are you? The Terrans. All right. Your special ability during the Gaia phase, move your power tokens into your mm -hmm. the second bowl instead of the first. Correct. And your Planetary Institute. I can spend those pieces for different items. Okay. Um, Xenos or the uh, Yoda. Yoda wannabes. Yeah, you like Yoda meets Gremlin, we said last mm -hmm. night, right? Place a third starting mine, so Matt starts out with three mines on the three board. there, and Federations are six. There we six go. Seven. Cool. Good. Done. That works. So, ah, looking at the, the goal during the first round, anytime any of us build a trading post, we're going to score four points. So, upgrading those, probably a good idea. 
and a free terraform isn't a bad idea since I'm directly adjacent to that. I like that idea. I will take the free terraform, please, sir. Okay. And where can you guys see it? I'm going to put my... Nope. We're going to put it sideways. <laughs> right there for you guys. Boom. Done. All right. Cool. Um, I will take the QIC and money, please. Matt. That one. Thank you. All right. Income. Uh, actually, hold on. Sorry. Craft Dragon uh, gave us a Glory to Rome. Wow, the game hasn't even started and we get a Glory to Rome. Really? He said for recommend a, uh, recommending Chicago Express for a good heavy iron door in a heavier game. So, okay. Noted. All right. Jeez. Wow. Just making sure I have to change that. That's pretty funny. That is a first before the game even starts. So everybody now, even though it's the first round, everybody gets their income. So... For instance, I'm going to get three money, and you're limited to 15, but you do have two markers, so that's going to be there. One knowledge, three ore. So there, there, there. And does anybody else get anything Just up here? Two. And I get two more money and one power. So two more money and one power. Again, it must come from bowl one until that's empty. Space okay. Chicken is nuts with their income. That is totally spot on, Brian. I, yes, I am, yeah. Printing money over here. <clears throat> so that's it's it. Figuring out what to do with it. It's maddening. <laughs> As Matt found out on caffeine last night. Yes. All right, cool. Hey, Marco. Okay. All right, Amanda, so begin. Here we go. Since we get points for upgrading, I'm going to do that first. Okay. So I'm going to upgrade this here. So that's going to be a total of three money because it's a right. neighbor or there. They're and two or, and, and Matt gets a free power. Um, free yep. power, okay. because it's a value of one for zero points. <coughs> and I get four points. And four points because pointed out to folks because the special round. ability. There we go. So Amanda is already running away with the game. Yes. Four points. Boom. Done. So Amanda's first. So we're going clockwise to begin the game. I like the idea of being able to do that. Unfortunately. Um, I'm not near anybody to start out with, so the upgrading here so close. Uh, is not, it, it's more expensive, which, but I have more money, so there's that. But I took the terraform, so I will go ahead, this is one free terraform there, so I'm going to terraform this orange planet into, it only cost me one, so that's done. Uh, do, mm. You know what? I'm looking at doing that in the second round. Ah, I'll forego the two points. So I will do that. So that cost me no ore since I used that action. And when you terraform, you automatically must build a mine. So that's going to be a total of two space bucks and one ore. Boom. Done. Put a mine out. It's a terrible thing to waste. Done. And now I'm within two for when I upgrade this because neighboring bonus of Amanda. Turn to the red player. Of the space chickens is complete. Right. And yes, there was a caffeine <clears throat> stream yesterday. I'm going to do a uh, similar thing here. Okay, so then I get... Free power. Or I actually get... Uh, you power. do not get free power. You get a power for a point, yeah? Two power for one point. Two power for one point. Two. And one point back for Amanda. Two. Done. All right. And four points for me. Four for yellow. Yellow. Yes. Yellow. And I'm trying to do this to where yellow is furthest away from me so that I'm still going to mess this up. So you guys help me out when I... Because I feel like Matt has an advantage <coughs> since I'm in control of the points. And if I get points, I'll probably move yellow. So That's there's funny. that. All right, Amanda. Um, let's see. So how many of y'all out there have not played either, or I should say, TM, if you've only played Terra Mystica, GP for Gaia Project, or both. Which is it? Or none, as it were. Um, I'm going to spend four knowledge to go up on the knowledge track, please. Thank you. Yep. All right, so now Amanda is going to get one income of knowledge every round. All right. Um, well, stay on target. So we just terraformed that. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Now that I am within a neighboring there of Amanda, I will go ahead and only spend the three bucks. So there's three and two power. I got the power there. So Amanda will get one free power if she wishes. Hey, you get. And done. 
Oh, a lot of y'all have not played Guy yeah. Project. That really surprises me. Wow. Yeah, me too. All right. Still just the one Dave. turn. <laughs> That's funny. That's good stuff. All right, Matt. Oh. Wow. So, I will uh, be remiss for not using this. Can I have one of those little blocks? Yeah, you pieces? most certainly can, sir. There's one right in front of you, and now there's a second one. There we go. I actually forgot the <laughs> income there, too, of the two power. Oh, you know what? I should have gotten two money. Good call for income at the beginning. <clears throat> yeah. I will... Uh, I'll get this guy right. No, because it's not a yet, hand. Siddharth. Not until the because so, she just got that. She doesn't get that so till income. My distance is one, but this is three more, so I can get to there. Correct. Asher, gent, no, sir. No, sir. <clears throat> Go lay down, please. One, one, two. All right, Amanda. Yeah, it's gonna throw me off too. I was like, no, it's oh, yeah, it is me. Okay. I had a plan. I believe you. <coughs> I am actually going to go ahead and do this. Upgrade that. I am not yellow. So I guess six money and one, four two, ore. Three, four, five, six, four. All right, so now your special ability is activated. Now, whenever you do the, uh, you start a Gaia project, and don't forget your extra income. Mm -hmm. And Matt, two power for one point, if you wish, sir. Sure. All right. Ooh. There we go. All right. What I'm doing is I'm looking over there at the end of round or the round bonuses, and there's no one for. Uh, doing Gaia projects. There was last night. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't really help. So we do have four ore and a ton of money, which that would give us a lot of power at the beginning and allow me to start spending money for extra resources. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So I will spend the... Mm, do have knowledge? I can do that in a minute. Mm, let me look. Yeah, we're good with that. So I'm going to spend the... S yeah, because we're upgrading there. Yep, stay on target. So I will upgrade that. That's going to be a total of six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. And four ore. And four years ago. Four ore and four years ago. There you go. A free power for Amanda. Woo! There we go. Boom, done. And Christopher, Welcome. <clears throat> I'm gonna go the other way with it. I'm gonna spend. Three. Lori, been a while. One, Bonus two, points three, for upgrading. Four, five. No. Nope. Go ahead. Keep going. I'll, I'll handle it. That. All right. So Amanda can get three power for two points. No. All right. I'm gonna take that four power. This one? Tile there. All right, so because on. it was one of your research mm -hmm. labs, so taking this, which means yellow moves up. And you immediately get a QIC because that's a one-time bonus. Get that. And now you have one in front of you, by the way, Matt. So folks can see that. Cool. All right. Wow, look at all these new people. Lori, we haven't seen her in a while. Hi, Jess. Frozen Ronin. Uh, the Ivan. Awesome. <coughs> all right, good wow. stuff. Good deal. All right, cool. Good deal. So that was Matt. Wow, a lot of upgrades already. This is no joke. All right. Amanda, you're up. You chose not to get your power for sacrificing Correct. two points. All right. All right. I'm going to spend. Oh, that's right, Lori. That was you last night. Sorry. Fair six. enough. Six. So you have to move six over because that's the cost to start a Gaia project. Correct. So she puts out her Gaia former there, and that will take place at the begin or in the second step of next round. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Yeah, your new rabbi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. And Siddharth handled that. All right. So we have four knowledge. Might as well spend it. Uh, I do like extra income. Income's nice there. But being able to go out for Gaia projects are really nice as well. As is having more range. <clears throat> so there's, there's legitimate cases could be made for all of these. Uh... <coughs> Man, 
The Gaia former is really expensive though right now and I'm going to be able to get extra power there plus all this extra power. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go there. So that's going to be a total of four knowledge. Dropping knowledge, y'all. You are. Bump up there. And now I will get all that income there. Hey, Rabbi, just random because I will forget to email you. Do me a favor and uh, shoot me an email for kosher meals for HeavyCon. And Waymos, too. Yeah, and yeah, please do that. Thanks. All right. Go ahead. Also going to drop some knowledge. All right. And I'm going for distance. He's going for speed. Maybe. <clears throat> Cake reference for those at home. Cool. Amanda. Yeah, I'm bummed Lori can't make it. And Rob can't make it. Boo. <coughs> Thank you, Jason, for the vote. I appreciate it. There's right. a lot of y'all that have not played this yet, I which is awesome. I am going to pass. Okay, so keep that one face up. Just Amanda can't choose that one that she just discarded. There you go. I'll take the, um, the one, no, the one knowledge and the one ore, please. Cool. Thank and you. that goes face down because Amanda's passed. So Amanda has passed. Ergo, she becomes first next round. Now I'm up. I'm red. You need to remember that. Okay. So I have money. I can spend money for all of these different things, but it gets prohibitively expensive to be able to do so. If I spend my six uh, power over here to be able to uh, start a Gaia project, the problem is... Income comes before that, so these don't actually exit before you get power. So all this extra power that I would get would be wasted. So doing that right now doesn't make a lot of sense. <sighs> but I really would like to be able to do that there, to be able to get a third planet, to be able to help start a uh, you know the beginnings of a federation, since I have three, four, and we're over halfway now to that. I guess I could pass. I don't really see a ton left by way of options so i think i too shall pass so this i actually go over there i won't choose that i can choose the one amanda had um i am tempted to get the one for the research but and that's terrifying nah you know what i think the extra power might come in handy QIC wouldn't be bad in the extra money, but I'm getting plenty of money, so I will take the two extra power and the ore. Please, sir. Thank you. And you know what? Why don't we do this? Since this fits better, we'll put that right there. And there we go. So this goes face down. I have now passed. Matt, you're up. All right. <clears throat> to be adjacent for the lower price on this, is it Within my... two. Within two. So Within two. That'll work. Totally legit. Right. And I support that because even though I've passed, I will get a Need power. Need to chuck a QIC to get one more ore show, to do it. Show folks how, why. How uh, about? Because of right there. There you go. <coughs> <coughs> so that's two. One, two, three. And I'll put that. And there. so... Within two now, I get a free power. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. And I will take four more points. And four, four, yellow. Two and four. Matt, you're up again. <clears throat> I think I'm done. And I think I like this guy. All right. So tech now that technically goes face down. And then we go into cleanup. Cleanup is pretty simple. We would clear any of these that have been used. Now we flip all of these face up. And we flip the round marker. Round one is now at an end. So we go into round two. This is the actual turn order, which same as it ever was. Everybody gets their income. Don't forget any income that you get here as well as on your board. I need two extra power, please. I did not get the four points to be able to upgrade that. Thank you very much. Obviously, Siddharth is pulling <coughs> for me since he reminded me that I forgot my four points. Obviously. So, my income, get two extra power, which puts them there. Nice. One ore for that. Anything up here? Amanda, don't forget your uh, knowledge. Got it. I get one ore, two money, and two power, which those now go there. That's all of my stuff I you read. You kind of your, your knowledge earlier. You hit it. Oh. Mm -hmm. There. All right, so now I get one more power. 
And I believe you can do this in any order, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take the four power there, and then get my extra one there. <coughs> Which, if that's the case, um, yeah, I'm good with that. So, that's here. Three more ore. One knowledge. IR has a dumb. Three quiche. Three, and actually that should be back one. There. There we go, and we'll put that there. Done, 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 done. Boom. Second round. Be, uh, now we go into the Gaia. Mm -hmm. uh, Gaia's phase. So that becomes a Gaia planet. That goes down there. So now, again, that doesn't count for it's not colonized yet. However, Amanda now em empties those, and she can take any mix of those for different resources. And spend four for a knowledge and two for two money. Oh, we should probably be keeping track of buildings. As well oh, good in, call. In All right, stuff. so how many, how many um, Gaia planets? Zero so far. Mm -hmm. And how many different buildings do you have out I'm there? Four. Two. I, I have three. There we go. And that's just to track so we don't mm -hmm. have to keep this yeah. at the end of the game. Um, on that note, uh, Shingo's complaining about the first player marker of the game. I don't understand that because I think the first player marker is fantastic, but maybe I'm biased. What do I know? A little right. biased. Right? It's a smidge. And Rob is lamenting his passport issues. I would be If there as is well. one human on this planet that can completely relate to that, Rob, it's me from last year. Year yep. before? Year before. Year before. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah, next year, Rob. Next year. All right. Amanda, you're up. So this round we get points for terraforming, so it would make right. sense to terraform. Right. Um, but I'm not close to anything to terraform, but I could spend some QIC to get there. So I shall do that. So this would make me be able to get there, to get here. I'm sorry? Why? It's spending a QIC. Oh, yeah. So the QIC adds plus two, so you uh -huh. can reach three away so if you want. That's pretty close. <coughs> that is two terraforms, which... Hey, Jordan. Welcome. Right now is three, and I don't have that much. So can't do that. Not only that, but then you have to pay to mine, or to build a mine as well. Dang it. Okay. Planning hard. Oh, shush. Um, okay. Okay, so instead of that, then let's do. <laughs> let's build a mine on that Gaia planet up there. There you go. And, that yep. and that's another building as mm -hmm. well for Amanda. Yeah, so it there is. There we go. And uh, red, do I want a total of three power for two points? Sure. Three power for two points. Now we're at seven. That wasn't really what I was planning on doing, honestly. Or I could do a four and a three later on to be able to, hmm, man, that's really hard. But getting the extra power actually is going to be really, really useful, or the extra knowledge. So I wasn't planning on doing this. But I'll go ahead and spend all seven power from bowl number three. Wow. Drop down to bowl number one, right? That was uh, three, five, six. Yep, there we go. Uh, to be able to get three knowledge. Boom, done. Because that's going to be able to advance my tech one more. Done. Hey, Michael, welcome. <clears throat> yes, I'm doing a thing. Don't forget about your special ability. Uh, both of those, yep. actually. Mm -hmm. You need here. Oh, you got them over there. Got them. I got them. Um, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, let's do this. Well, I got the three, but yeah, I didn't get my four income. <clears throat> Was this new? Wow. Did I y'all yeah. watching this? Y'all seeing for anybody that didn't choose Amanda, just saying. 
What am I looking for? I'm used to getting, I'm used to not getting chosen. That's fine. What? Whoa, is you? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Everybody just became Joey Lawrence for some reason. <laughs> I, 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 I took the math faction. You know, now I'm now I'm out here. Okay, all right, all right. Fair I'm not enough. here. I'm out there. Um, <clears throat> so one of those, one of, that will do. All right. So I am going to place a mine here. And you have a range of two. I have a range of two, so that works. I need to find. I need to get three terraforms. There's one, and five of this down to here. No, sir. Is that one? You cannot can't take do, two. You can't do that can't do one them? and that con in conjunction. It's either or. You're going to pay for five. or somewhere. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll do these five for those two. Okay. And then that one. Oh well. Three, three. and then one more for the mine, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. And the two money you pay. Boom, done. So you built here within two. Amanda, do you want three and power was, for two points? That was points. three terraforms for six points. Good call. Six points. Three and six. Done. And one more building. Amanda. How many points? Two? It's say? always one less than what the power value is. Yes. So you that. took three power mm -hmm. for two points. Going the wrong way. All right. Hmm. Did Amanda take the one extra worker? What? From the passing to I have no oh, idea what you're talking there about. There are workers? Sir. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to spend four knowledge, or four power, sorry, to get two ore. Uh... I don't get the points for it, but I think now's the time since I have all this power locked up right now. I'm going to go ahead. I cannot do that yet. Step one. Ah, so I don't have any uh, Gaia formers to be able to do that, to be able to colonize that third planet. <coughs> and I also like the idea of being able to go further, but eh, alas, I will go ahead and spend my four knowledge red to go there, which means I get a Gaia Former, which turn of the red player is complete. Done. Did Amanda? I, I did not, and then realized I didn't. And there then. we go. Matt? Am I going to do that? I think I'm going to do that. I think you ought to do that. Right. It's exciting, if nothing else. It, yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to spend both of these QIC for, for two ore. Okay, which is right there. Yep. yep. I'm going to spend those two ore. And one, two, three money. I'll upgrade that. And Amanda, do you want three power for two points? No. Okay. You're up. Are you guys able to follow along? I realize we're only a turn and a half into a six turn game, but is it making sense for those that have not played Gaia Project yet? For knowledge. <coughs> to go up on the gray track, please. Here? Mm -hmm. All right, blue, and you get one QIC immediately for yep, that. Got it. Now I will go ahead. There's four, that's six, per that, to be able to put out my Gaia former, which somewhere I had it right there. Boom, done. Matt? Pretty sure that's. Well, yeah, because of that, I am done. Shingo, how many plays of Terra Mystica do you have? What are you thinking, oh, Matt? I could do that, maybe. Somewhere. Out loud. Um, I've got a terraform of one that I really want to use, um, which would be a red... Are you sure? Or orange or brown. Orange or brown. And um, your yellow? Which, right there. Right there, yep. Um... Or I or could spread there. out a little bit and get there. That's within... Nope. Not quite. Nope. One too far. That is a space too far, sir. I like that one. All right. So that's going to cost you a total of... Uh, well, then i got to pay for the building, which I don't have the ore for. Never mind. All right. Never mind. Dean. Yeah. I, want, I really wanted to use that, but since I can't, I will pass. Hi, Vince. We'll talk really fast, so when you come back, it's actually normal speed for you, okay? I will. I think 
I can leave that one upside down. Oh, you passed, Matt? I did. So yellow first, done. Amanda. I'll spend a QIC, <coughs> expand to here. Terraform. To be able to it, it'll go further than you normally could, mm -hmm. okay. A terraform once, two, three. And then a mine? And then a mine. You're going to pay for said mine? I will. One, one, two. All right, so you're not within two of anything, so no neighboring bonus for anybody. Uh, so I have money and I have ore. The question is, I don't, I'm red. I don't know where I can expand to. I could go here, but that's going to cost me nine ore. That's not happening. Um, man. I don't know that I have more options, so all this ore kind of burning a hole in my pocket, but I can't really do anything. That's not true. I could upgrade, couldn't I? I get two points for terraforming. Thank you. Two, four, blue. Got it. Uh, you know what? There's no reason not to if I have all this extra ore. So let's go ahead and start working on the one here. So I will upgrade that for three bucks. So there's one, two, three, and two ore, two there yellow do you want two power for one point sir sure back one done matt has passed amanda hey day glues welcome i'm gonna spend six power to put out my guy former here and that's within your range yep uh that is not within your range now it is spending the qic because it you only have a range and of one. one so there's that there we go <laughs> Uh, you know, that's not a terrible idea. In fact, that actually, I am red. That is a really good idea. So I'm actually going to upgrade that training academy, I think it is, to a research facility here that I just did. So it's going to spend all three ore and five bucks, five from 13 down to eight here, there. And yellow, do you want two power for one point? Yes. There, now I get one of the uh, research tiles. So let's look at this. Getting three power is actually kind of interesting right now because it'd be one, two, and then three and get everything out of one before that big glut comes out next round. Jumping across there. Eh, not super huge though. The other option is... I think getting towards expanding isn't a bad idea. Um, terraforming isn't so important. I feel like being able to expand is, so I'm going to actually take that research tile for that. So I will put that there, which means red now goes here, which means I get one more QIC to be able to use. Back to Amanda. All right. I am going to spend three money and two ore to upgrade <coughs> this. Money. So, two points for three power. Two points for three power. Yep. Back to one. Two and Katorze. There we go. Three. All right. Um, so we're out of resources. All I have is money. I do have the QICs, which could uh, expand distance as well as give me ore. But I don't like the idea of being able to do that. So I think looking at Amanda's tile, her, uh, I can never remember the remember name of called. that, um, her bonus tile at the beginning doesn't really appeal to me. Being able to have a range, a plus range, uh, so orange and blue planets, being able to come out to here would also be nice. Not having to do that to take that one, and that would give me two extra power at the beginning, which means I would get that over to three, which would give me access to both of those. Uh, a free terraform. Yeah, you know what? I will take that first one, Matt, please. Thank you, sir. And... Red is now second and done. Amanda, yours until morning. Yeah, everyone's talking about how the space board's kind of bland. It's space. I don't know. Eh. 
And it, I think it's pretty clear. Like, I don't have a problem being able to see anything. Do any of y'all? Mm -mm. Can I get the knowledge and the three points for the other building, please? Thank you. Research. Yeah, I All right. Like we've played a lot of games that look like this this year. <coughs> Just because space, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so Amanda has passed there. We flip all these over. We clear all these off. Uh, I will go and put one there for that. <coughs> Done. Flip the turn marker, and we are a third of the way through the game. Oh, real quick, building-wise, I have three out still and no Gaia planets. Amanda still has one Gaia planet. Yep. And how many buildings? One, two, Amanda's at three, four, four buildings. Four buildings. The other one. Crap. Matt. Five buildings. Really? You're you're not red. In fact, one, two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're. Yep. All right. Cool. New round. Get your income, y'all. Don't forget about your stuff up here. I am red. I feel like I am Groot. There. Two money. Two power. Two. Three. Seven. Yeah, that kind of sucks about that, but not really. Thank you. I need one Three. extra power, please. Two. Might as well bring that over here because I'm going to be getting it. Then I get four, one, two. So there's that. Done. Red. No. No. Got it. Now these. Two ore. Two knowledge. Three quiche. Two more power, which is wasted, unfortunately. Done. All right, everyone get your income on the tiles and the stuff out here as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, good. All right, so Gaia phase. So that goes I'm there. Spend four to get a QIC and two for two money. All these come out, and unfortunately, income is already spent. Done. All right. All right, yellow. Oh, I've been sick, Dave, but I'm actually managing okay. So, Matt, you're up. Begin, sir. All right. I've got that. <clears throat> Can't do that or that. Oh, take care, Tony. Have a good one. Probably missed you, but sorry. <laughs> that. Let's be doing that. And Isaac, I promise I'm going to. Here, momentarily, once I get, yes. Need six though. Don't have that. Yeah, trying to keep everything on the on the screen for this was a little bit difficult for that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna discard a QIC to get four. Spend four and one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> Put that there. Amanda, do you want three power for two points? No. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going counterclockwise now. Uh, do have four power for a couple of knowledge, which would get me another. Oh. Hmm. I'm just thinking if I get the two knowledge, that would give me four, which bumps me up to there. That's not a terrible idea. Um. Hmm. <coughs> no, it's at any point, Eric. Any point he can, they can circle power. No, it's not at turn. Yeah, it's it's as an action. Remember, and that's action number seven as an option. Same with being able to teleport there. Uh, you know what? Actually, I will do that. So I will take four power. Boom, done. I'm going to spend five money and three ore to build this up here. You keep tempting me with this, and so because three power. of my tile, I get three points. Three points for blue. One, two, three. And actually, I will. Back two to get three power. One, two, and three. Done. And I get... <coughs> <coughs> Take resource. care, Phillips. Say again. Get a resource tile. Okay. Um, Matt, you're up while Amanda's thinking. Yep. 
I'm going to take the I'll just four do this. power cycle, please. For this one? One, mm -hmm. two, oh. three. Amanda now has a range of two. I just did that. Done? All right. Uh... Hmm. Yep, I will. I will spend... Ah, I really want to be able to get that power first. So, how do we use power, or get gain power, I should say, uh, before I spend it all? Because once I spend it, then it's in bowl one and i got to move it back up. Um, you know what? It's like this. We're going to discard two and move two over. I guess I could do that freely later, so actually I don't need to do that right now. Um, I'll go ahead and spend four power there. Be able to go ahead and take the two knowledge. Done. Amanda? Hmm. Take care, Shingo. Can I have one of the cover, cover yep. thingies, please? Let's do four power. Matt, go ahead. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to spend four knowledge and take me to the next level on the one here. So one QIC and three power. Got two to move, but <coughs> all right. And I have the four knowledge. He, hold on. Three terraform there. there. Um. The or yeah, I will. I will go ahead and take four. Bump that up to there. Boom. Done. Amanda? I'm going to spend... Oh, the two victory points is... Oh, who just... Who's the, oh, oh I actually, two. I get two. Yeah, Matt get gets two. two. Right, it's for this. Mm -hmm. For any time you drop four knowledge, you upgrade actually, that. Actually, I think it's any time you move up. That is. In fact, okay. So if you I were to take a tile, one. so Amanda would get two as well. All right, cool. We're good. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to spend five power to do the double day. <clears throat> All right, double dig, done. I'm going to have to glory to Romeo on that one. <laughs> and I'm going to put that right there. That was my that was my next move. Spend a QIC to get one ore, move it back, spend two money to put out a mine right here. Yeah, we had to zoom this out pretty far because it's a bit of a sprawling game, even with three players because of the big board there and the other board. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, so that is Amanda. Matt laments his unfortunate timing on that. Sorry, recalculating. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, um, Al, this is actually one of the Golden Elephant Award finalists for this year. Um, huge fans compared to this in Terra Mystica. The tech tree versus the... Th this adds a, uh, a, an absolute bigger layer to the game, as well as the modular board, the setup, and everything else. Um, just much, much bigger fans of this than we are of uh, Terra Mystica. Amanda should not have taken three VP for the science building that is three points per when you scroll. When you discard it. Oh, like when I turn it over? Oh, for everyone. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, technically. Oh, okay. Good you point. Will, you she will, will get, get it. it. But okay. you don't have it yet. Good call, Matthew. <clears throat> okay. No, you cannot, Siddharth. If you terraform, you build. You cannot. There is no partial terraforming. I can't find one that I want. With I was going... That was going to be my uh, federation, too. So. Ooh, yeah. snap. I was going to build right there, but I needed the double dig to do it. And one, four, five, six, which is all I need. Yeah, that partially is the reason why we're only playing three players. What would have happened is my player board would have been on my tableau as opposed don't have to not. any more left there. Correct, said Arthur. QIC, but I needed that for the one <coughs> that I needed to build it. When you're out of resources, you're hurting. Mm -hmm. um, might I suggest action number, option number <coughs> eight. Well, I've got power. 
Okay. Oh, fair point. And you have what? Six power? So basically that, 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 or that. Mm -hmm. And you have how many QIC? Yeah, I was going to use the three for the one. I was going to use this for the double dig, but I can't do that now. And if I use it for the ore over there, I still don't have enough. If I use it for the single dig, I can only do a brown planet or a red planet, but that doesn't get me within range of this. It will, though. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the three power for the one One dig. dig. Okay. Discard a QIC for so the one So the question is, ore. can you dig it? <laughs> but that's all I do right now. All right. All right. Uh, yep. Back to me. <coughs> so now I have a range of... <clears throat> I am one pot, one or short, but we can just spend money. So I will, now I have a range of two. I can terraform the <coughs> blue planet here. So that's going to cost me a total of three ore. So there, it's now habitable, but I need one more ore, which is going to cost me three money. So a total of five money down to eight there. And we'll throw mine out. Her. Done. Mmm. You know what? A moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. We're good. Yep, done. Yep, we're good. I passed. So now I get. Now you get. How many do you have out there? You get three points per. So now it's three points. There you go. Done. I will take the um, the knowledge and the ore, please. Thank All right, uh, Matt, you're up. Place the mine out there. Sure. Put a mine right. Are you sure? <coughs> yeah, I would have had to. Yeah, I had to have done that last time because he used to, to dig for, to do it. There and three, right. Yeah, so, so that happened last time. Not within two because that's not colonized, yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. Now you begin your turn. Yeah. There we go. Um, still got three. I'm going to use these three to put two more power in here. So that last one there. This game is playing out drastically different than last mm -hmm. night's, even though it's the same factions. Oh, one, more one, two, three, four. I'm at four, one, two, actually. One, two, three, four, Red. six, five. Red. Oh. You're at how many? Four. four. I'm at five. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Four. Five, six, four, five. Yeah, I think we wait to do anything like that. Um, that actually would be five, and that won't get me anything, though. But it does get me another planet. So I think I am going to do something. It might not be the smartest thing, but we're going to see how this works. So... I need a total of two money and one ore. I don't need to terraform, so two money and one ore, or so it's a total of five bucks. That's drops that down to three, two. Go ahead and put that bad boy right there. That costs one QIC because this is something I didn't cover. Is it costs one QIC to uh, you have to have cannot. Never mind. You have to have one, the thing two, there too, three, don't you? Four. Yeah, you have to have. Put that down so I can't do that yet. Build that up there. Yep, I think we'll do that. So that'll drop that down to three and there to be able to bring this back. So now I have the option. And Matt, you're up. 
I will be passing. I'll pass and I will grab that one. Aggravated, I actually never use that because <clears throat> I have that. Yes. Um... Not pleased. Although, a range of three to a red planet, am I any... Um, nope, because Amanda uh, took that one. That was dirty. One, two, three. Nope, not a... Oh, it is plus three, and I, I actually have a range of five, don't I? I don't have enough, though, enough money and everything else, so I guess we're done. So I will pass. God, that feels dirty. Matt? And to get another research... QIC, always nice. And a couple of money. One knowledge, I'm getting a total of two. Two knowledge, the third doesn't really help me. Let me go ahead and get the money and QIC. Cool, done. So we're all done. So we can turn those over. These clear. And flip the round marker. And that was oh. the blue, yellow, red, right? It's blue, yes, because I was last, right, moving that way. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, don't worry, red eye, it's, it's coming. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, moving into the fourth round. So get your income, y'all. One, two, two knowledge. three, four. Three. So three, five money, up to eight, done. Three or a QIC, an or and two money, and two power for that. Four more power, two, four, and then I get one more there. Done. <coughs> Everyone good? Blue. Amanda, begin. Uh, there's no guy. No, there is. Nope. No guys mm -mm. out there. So we skip that. We go into actions. Go for it. Okay. I'm going to... That's right, Matthew. I could have done that. You just have to have a guy. A, uh, you have to have one to be able... So I could have, but no, no harm, no foul. So... I'm going to spend four knowledge to mean, okay. go oh. up on the gray track, please. Uh, Amanda here. Uh -huh. So it's a QIC and three power. All right. Matt? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to spend three and one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to upgrade this guy to that, <clears throat> which is another one over there. I'm going to take one of those bottom ones and take that four money. Uh, sorry. Oh, this one here? Yep, four money. There, and which and track? So, because to, it's at uh, the bottom, you can up any of them? What one? Two, three. Three. <coughs> the gray one up and You're yellow. yellow. Yeah. There we go. Range of three. Range of three. There, there we go. A moment here. So, <coughs> yep, we're going to go ahead and upgrade there. Are we? Hold on. Two, four. Yeah, we are. So it's going to cost me three because we're within two of a neighbor. So three money and two ore there and three money there. For those scoring at home, yes, that's seven. So at any point, I can get a federation now between those three. Done. By the way, I'm at five buildings now. Please. Thank you. All right, I'm going to build a mine. No, I'm not. Because I have no money. Done? No, hang on. Spend four, or do this to get four power. Okay. Okay. And don't forget, you can always discard power to be able to 
get more. Matt? All right. <coughs> I believe I have a federation here. And since my uh, is three, so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I only really need six. Well, actually, three, four, five, six, so you could actually make this start a different one, mm -hmm. but you need two satellites to be able to do so yeah. to connect them. So mm -hmm. if you want to build the satellites, you have to discard two power. Sure. Yeah. There you go. Yep. And, and we'll just do... There we go. And boom, we have our first federation. So Matt, choose. I'm going to take the six into knowledge. So six points for yellow. Two, four, and six. Done. Okay. Um, four power. One, two, three, and four. Done. I'm going to spend four power for seven money, please. Oh, you son of a... Glory to Rome, Amanda. Getting all the glory to Rome tonight. Mm. That's the most <clears> I've <throat> ever gotten in one night. It's exciting. Hmm? It's exciting. It's the most I've ever gotten in one night, I think. Actions. Victory points based on how many uh, different planets you have, plus three points. Reuse a federation or rescore one, and this is spend four QIC. You have to have four to get one research tile. There you go. Yeah. Matt? Right. Wow, that was dirty. I'm going to spend four here to go up on one of those tracks. Do I go ahead and... Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and go. I've been going up this one. Let's keep going. All right, so you have to have a Federation marker, I which do. you do. Flips over. Mm -hmm. Done. And I get the Lost Planet. You do get the Lost Planet, which the Lost Planet goes adjacent to any existing building, which counts as a mine and counts as a type of planet. And <coughs> I guess counts as a building, too. It does. I would not suggest putting it over there, so either no. near this guy or that guy. Or out here in BFE. Or I guess that'd be BFS. This can also... Yeah. Well, my range is freaking awesome, so it doesn't really matter. But it'll save, if I put it here and this ever becomes a federation, it'll save me a satellite. Satellite. So. All right. Whew. All right. Well, Amanda kind of, that was dirty. Thanks. So. Yeah, I'm going to spend a QIC to go ahead and build a mine there. So it's going to be two and one there so that's going to be two on the Gaia for red please okay okay now that I have money <coughs> I'm going to spend two money and one ore to build a mine there now I'm on two Gaia planets and, and yellow mine. do you want two power for one money sir I do I really do Two uh, one for, point. for one point, sorry. That's yeah. what I meant. And you're up. Well, I'm going to do this now. Four power. And I am going to... I have a range of two. One, two. So to get on that, so that's going to be two bucks and one ore. Put that out. That's plus one on the Gaia planet. So a total of three now. Done, Amanda? I am going to do the same thing. Two, one. Range of two, plus one on that. And we need to count buildings too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven. You? Uh, three, six, seven as well. And Matt? Um, One, two, three, seven. Four, five. Yep. Okay. I'm going to spend the QIC for one there. 
I'm gonna put a mine way out here. And you have a range of everywhere, so four. Four. Good. And one and two. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're done. That's efficient. Yep. All right, cool. So I will go ahead and get a federation now, because that's gonna be three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a federation for me. And I need ore and I need money, but I have a, uh, <coughs> two ore is six bucks, so that's a wash either way, seven points. That'd be four bucks. I got to get that out. So I'm going to three and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that one, which is seven points for red. Welcome to the game and two or done. Okay. Right. Seriously, Cave Hines. All right, Amanda. I'm going to spend two money and an ore. Go here. You're killing me, Smalls. No, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And Matt, a passing? Well, you have, um, you, I got have some... you have power. I think I might wait on that. Maybe. Nah, I'll take the uh, the two knowledge. Okay. And back to me, I will. I am really okay with that. I'm going to upgrade this one. So it's going to cost me three bucks and two ore. So let's see. Yellow and blue each can get three power for two points. I recommend it. No. Yellow? No. <coughs> All right, Amanda. Put out my Gaia former. And that's within two. Yep. Matt? I now will, you're done. Now I'm done. <clears throat> now I will be passing. So not that one. Who needs that? Yeah, we'll Uncover that one, though, so everybody, yeah. for the rest of us, and flip that one. There you go. He's first. All right. I do have a total of six power. Could get a couple of ore, because right now I'm getting three, but I don't need that. I can actually wait on that. <coughs> Could get three knowledge to be able to bump one of those tracks. Not really a huge... Well, hold on. No, I seven ten. Yeah, I think I'm good. <sighs> Terraform. No. Nope. Um. Hmm. No, it has to be the highest value, Eric, in the full amount. I think I'm going to go ahead and really, well. Mm. Hello, Maxwell. He has a lot of those. Oh, this one's right over yeah, here Maxwell. blowing on them right now. Yeah, and there's another one on the table, too. Because uh, it gets hot in here. So, I have, <clears throat> you know what? I am going to. So, I have six. Partially, I'm trying to stall because I want Amanda's tile right there. <laughs> so I'm going to discard one of these to be able to get seven, spend all seven there to then drop go here. And we're going to drop some knowledge, which gives me three, puts me up to five, which buys me another turn as well. And Matt, you've passed. So flip that over, please. Yes, yeah. Amanda, you're up. I'm going to spend two money and one ore to go here. Yellow, do you want a free power? I'll take a free one, sure. 
Uh, so Amanda's on one, two, three, four, five now. You're a monster. And I have nine buildings. And those do loop around, so you're mm -hmm. not capped at ten, by the way. Uh, all right, so I am going to spend four knowledge. So the four knowledge, I had a plan. I'm trying to remember what that plan was. I need to write these things down. That was it. I'm going to go there to be able to get the QIC, and in addition to that, I will get three power. Done. Amanda? <coughs> Man. It really sucks. I can't do anything else. I don't think. Okay. Pass. I will take the two money and free terraform, please. Thank Flip you. that back over, please. So now I have a decision to make. I could use the four to be able to get an extra... The extra money is not bad. That would just really start hammering that home. And then I could... Yeah, you know what? We are going to. So I'm going to spend the four QIC that I have here. Here. To be able to bump that up to there, which is going to get me three power, which goes up to there, which is also going to get me those. And uh, I should have said that I'm also taking that, which gives me four extra money at the beginning of every turn. Cool. Done. And since I'm the only one left, now I will take the ore and knowledge. And everyone, we're done. There. Flip the turn marker. Clear all these bad boys. And we are in the penultimate round. So any anytime level two buildings, your uh, your trading post you get three points, mm -hmm. and get your income now, y'all. The bonus point getters for the last three rounds or the last two rounds are exactly what I said. If right here, upgrade to any of those, get three points. And the last one is if you build a mine on any of the Gaia planets out here or any of these guys that you've put into it, uh, you'll score four points in the last round. All right, so here we go, red. I'm red. One ore, three money, and three power. One, two, three. That's done. It's going to be another 10 bucks, which gets me to 13 for that. Four more power there, plus one there three more ore two knowledge and four more money from that two money four. bags that's how it's supposed to be finally got it going took me a little while oh and these one i don't think let me see uh three and one there i did not get either of those so there. Done. There we go. Now we're in good shape for this round. So, Matt, begin. <clears throat> oh, need to do the Gaia. The, well, you do. I, the rest of us don't. I don't, so, even know, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> we, we make these little green cubes. That's all we care about. Right. Would you like some tea? I think I'm kind of done with my soda. Uh, I'm good, actually, good? the water. Yeah, I'll have some later. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to spend After your turn. Yeah. four knowledge. Dropping it. And I'm going to go up on the green track. You are yellow. Yellow. So one more QIC, sir. Yep, see, we make the green cubes. All right. <coughs> the artwork, uh, better than Terra Mystica. Eh. Yeah, it's six and one half dozen the other, honestly. Um, I, I kind of like it better, even though it's space, and space isn't my favorite theme. Um, yeah, it, I don't know that it's better. It's just different, land versus space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I probably like the art from Terra Mystica a little better, but it just, I like fantasy dwarves and stuff. Okay, so. nothing wrong with it. That's, that's probably about as far as that goes, as far as, I think I probably like this game a little better. 
All right, I... You... Hold on, wait, hold on. Um, pause. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um... I interest you in a Reese's. Always. Peanut butter bar. I, it's a cup. I could be sick and about ready to die, you know, for me, Reese's. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, right. The answer is always yes. All right. I am going to... Yeah, this is not going to win an award for best artwork, in my opinion. How did I... Okay. Normally, I wouldn't eat on a stream, but you know what? It's Reese's. Deal I with will. it, people. Spend, I'm going to spend knowledge to go up on the... Different track than I thought. <laughs> the green track to get a QIC. Tea or coffee, coffee for you, I guess. I'll be right back. You want any? I'm, I'm good. good. All right. One, two, three, four. Needs seven. a lot of satellites. Three, six. I don't think there's any catching Amanda, honestly, on the, uh, on the Gaia planets. No. <coughs> She's going to have one more there. Even if I took that one, that gives me one and I can't catch her. So <coughs> I think I'm locked in the second on that. I'm just going to... I will take my six points and be happy. No, you have to score... To be able to get oh, six, but oh come on, you know that. Quit trying to cheat. You know, Shingo, don't don't go there. Uh, you know, hey hey, look here, Jess. All right. I don't care what you call them. You yeah, they're delicious. Them. All right, they're the best candy bar in existence. <clears throat> End of story. All right, so I'm definitely working on another federation, even though it's kind of a gross step it's like, here. It's like saying no. I don't take cash. I only take bills. <laughs> Uh, and this round is putting these bad boys out. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm, I am not within two yet of that. I need Amanda. So I'm going to stall to upgrade this one to be able to get the three Rob points. must live in hell. <laughs> Everything's upside down down there. Um. Oh, we could do that. And that will give me another research. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade here, which is going to be five money. Drops that down to 10 and three ore down to two. We will upgrade that there, which, Matt, do you want three power for two points, sir? No. Okay. So one more research. I could take one power <laughs> or one point. <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm debating which of the tiles to take. I do I take the seven points at this point? Seven points is a lot of points. Um I'm looking at what's out there. I think I will. I'll take the seven points. Red, three, four, five, six, seven, and we will. That's going to be worth another four there, and it gives me the ability to get that here momentarily if I want. Or not momentarily, but eventually. And done. Matt, back to you. Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to just do this and get four power. One, two, three, four. Done. All right, Amanda, good timing. You're right. up. All right. They, uh, Jess, you have the right to be wrong that Reese's Pieces are better than peanut butter cups. Could I interest you in it? Possibly a second Reese's peanut butter cup, sir. You can just keep feeding them. <laughs> no, that's the last one. Sorry. And as always, it's empty. Just saying. I'm going to spend four power for two knowledge, please. Four power and for two knowledge. Done. 
And I'm up. I'll wait on that. It's safe. Yeah, well, it's I'm safe. Yeah, keto. It. Yeah, it's safe. Um, <coughs> okay. Still stalling on that. Four. You know, Jess, two. I agree. I will. Four power for two or done. Okay, I can't argue with a better for gaming. <coughs> Fair point. These can be messy, especially if it's warm, say, in a studio. But if they're frozen, even better. Which Matt, you have some knowledge. You took the I took the knowledge. And I just I just now <laughs> noticed that you did that. Yeah, yeah, again. Yeah, again. Glory to Rome. Yes. Three again. in one night. Yes. Crap. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm going to have help on those there, Jess. It's okay. Reese's Pieces are I'm not going to say they're gross. They're just not as good. The end. And the commercials on the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, like they show people eating. No, that's that's bite size. Sorry. Yeah. They really are. They are. Yes, I know. I know what's up. You have the right to be wrong. You do too. <laughs> <coughs> There is another, Man, there is another way. Okay. Three or One, two, three, four, five. Home. This goes I go to out bed. right there. And I am red, so two power for one point. Two, three, five. Double terraform doesn't matter as much. Uh, nope, I elect not to do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, give me the seven points. Seven for yellow. Two and five. And more importantly, that there. Which only gets on one power. But <clears throat> I need the uh, I want the little green things. Amanda? That is a good point. That is still available. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Christopher. That's mean. Funny, but mean. So I have a distance of two, so that's a range of one. Yes. I'm so sorry. that's this is one two, one <coughs> two, one two, right? Oh, you're talking for a federation. For a federation. You they have adjacent. to be a, a, a adjacent, which means you have to burn so a, a power, a power, and a power. Correct for the satellites. Which right there, that is only six. But if you connect one of these, that would be seven. But if you connect one, then all of them are connected. This, however, is still not a colony. Remember. Right. <clears throat> so Isaac uh, sent me an email today and he was lamenting that he hopes for better scores tonight I don't know if there's going to be better scores Isaac but I feel like we're all playing better so I don't know if that matters so there's that Justin's dark pe chocolate peanut butter cups Anthony we're here I yes I yeah they're overpriced but damn they're tasty no I don't like actually those. my wife's uh, peanut butter bowls it's Yes. Not, not, yes. Yeah. Those are really good. Yep. That's been four QIC. <sighs> for the four money. Sorry? For the four money. Oh, handling. yep. And which one do you want to bump up? Remember, once you hit threes, they're worth four points at the end of the game, and every step above that is worth four points. The blue one, please. The blue track? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't forget, if you guys like it, this, like and subscribe the video. It helps us. We appreciate it. <sighs> Amanda is really frustrating me here. Um, had a plan. There, uh, right. I'm going to burn two power. Move two over, spend four, <coughs> seven bucks, five, I, somehow I ended up with both of those, but there we go, seven, done. Hmm. Hmm. Matt? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of wanted that four QIC thing too. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Nah, I've already done it once, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. 
Amanda's just spawning, so she didn't need as much terraforming. She's been spawning green planets, so that's not as necessary. She can go. So I got five or six. That's still available. So maybe we just do that. Isaac, anticipating slightly better scores. You didn't say considerably higher scores. You said better. Following through with what you asked. Just saying, team players. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to burn the five for the or double. Or spend. The double dig. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to spend one QIC to move this up, and then back down, and then two, and then this. Which, not within two of anybody. Done. Blue. <coughs> I'm going to spend four knowledge to go up on the gray track. You now have a range of three. Red. I got all this stuff now, and Amanda, you are killing me. Good. Oh, you're not going to do it this round. I see that now. Two, four, five, six. So need two of those. Twelve and four. Tw oh, we can do that, can't we? Done. All right, so we're going to upgrade this one because Amanda is not going to upgrade this to the last round because that's going to be four points. So uh, that's going to be six bucks and two ore. So two <coughs> ore, two, three, four, five, six. There. That will go there. No power, because that's nothing yet, and that's going to be three points for Rojo. One, two, how many did I say? Three. 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 Done. All right, I believe I'm going to pass. When I pass, I get three points for every one of those buildings out there, which, which that I have looks three. Like three, so that'd be nine points. Well done, sir. To a 44. Done. And... Turn it face up. Just don't choose it. Yeah. Hey, Guillermo, Mr. Alves. I like I like my little green things. I'll keep going with that. The game does give you direction to do that, and you pass, so you're done. Turn it upside down, please. Blue, you're up. All right, I am going to upgrade this. I feel like this is a pretty competitive game. I don't one, know two, if Matt runs away one, with this two. or not, but... Right there, and I get four points, please. Uh, how many? Oh, sorry, three. Cheater? I'm telling you? One, two, and three. And there was something else. Which one? You just did this? Mm -hmm. Yellow? Do you want two power for one point? No. You sure? Yeah. It's just one point. Yeah. Okay, try it. Uh, I get four power there, and I get four power there, and that almost gets it all the way around. I might as well. Four power. Done. Amanda? All right, stay on target. I do stay have on a target. free terraform, so I shall. <coughs> Still got to pay for the mine, though. Still pay for the mine. Okay, let's. Crap. Oh, awesome! Well done, Cave Hines. Raise them proper. Played several games of the climbers with my nephew and niece. Most games ended in tears. It was fantastic. Hashtag break their spirits. That's perfect. Glorious. Properly breaking them in, Cave Hines. No, it's like Spartans, right? No, you just you just make them stronger. That's it. I don't believe in taking it easy. Uh, because that way when when they win, they know they earned it. I I'm on board with that. Hashtag but Marines. When they beat you, then you feel bad. <laughs> but you, hey. Right. Hashtag Seriously. good teacher, right? Right. There's no way to get money. Money, money, money. Oh, it, no, right here. I mean, <coughs> right here. It was right there. Actually, I only need one money. So two and one to go right there. 
And yellow, do you want two power for one point? Yes. Back to me. Uh, two, four, five, six. That would be seven. <coughs> and let's do it. I will upgrade this bad boy here. That's going to be, it's not near anything. So six and two, two and six down to seven there. That'll be three points for Rojo. Done. Amanda? Um, I'll just burn four. Burn four? Or oh. Do move four power. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's five. I think five's enough, I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One more. Done. That is a federation. It's a hell of a federation. It is, right? They're not a tight-knit group. Um, yes, right? Is that what I want to do? Hold on. Yeah, I'll take the eight points in the QIC. So eight for red. And the QIC, turn of the red player is complete. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. That so would cost need two, one, two power. Yep, correct. Or one, two, either or six, one, half, does the other. Two. Technically, you don't need it because if a satellite's out there, ergo, you, need, <coughs> you have one. That one would need one. But whatever we have, might as well use them. So, which one would you like, ma'am? This is going to be a pretty close game, I feel like. The seven points and six money, please. All right, get your six money, seven points. I will spend the four knowledge. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. There, which flips one of these bad boys. Done. All right, Amanda, back to you. <coughs> Man, sorry about all the coughing tonight, y'all. What are you thinking? Thinking about upgrading one of my buildings now that I have a little bit more money. Um... Let's do, let's upgrade from here to here. So that's five money and three Matt, knowledge. do you want two power for one point? Somebody's closer. No. Okay, you all good? No. All right. Yeah. I will take the... Um, so for what? Oh, for... The academy, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. The what under the brown is that one knowledge for every planet you're on? For every type of planet, I believe. I actually have to look that one up. I believe that's what it is. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Maybe it's out of knowledge. You would think that I. Where is it? Back page. Those are the 
Oh, it is there it is. Point. Yeah, when you take the pass action, gain a victory point for every planet. To, or in this case, uh, when you pass. No, not when you pass, sorry. That is... When you pick it up. When you gain the tectile, immediately gain uh, one knowledge for every uh, type of planet that you've colonized. That's it. Yep. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay, so you are blue. Mm -hmm. and you I'm immediately get two ore as well. And how many how many different planet types I are you on? On one, two, three, four, five, five. Because that's this is the yep. same. Five knowledge. Well done. Thanks. Okay. That's a one and gone. So. So we have money and not a whole lot else. I do have a QIC, which gives me one ore. That, uh, no, I don't have it. Now I don't have enough to even uh, do a Gaia project. I am red. I think we pass it. This <coughs> time. Which, I'll go ahead and take that last one for the academy, please. Thank you. Done, and red, second. There we go. Amanda, all you. <coughs> Either people are bored out of their minds or they're thoroughly engaged on how this is going to end up. I'm going to spend four knowledge to go up on the blue track and get three... three knowledge? Power? Or three, three power, power, sorry. Okay, keep going. Still you. I'm I'm done. Question: Does Answer. the uh, the lost planet that counts as one of these? So the power counts too. What do you mean the power? For, yeah, for, it, for yep, yep, it would. All right, so flip them over. The clear these. Or and the knowledge, please. Oh, this one. Yes, thank you. Flip the uh, scoring tile, y'all. Oops. Careful. Space quake. All right, uh, there. Get your income. One. Two, three, four. Eight and, eight and six is fourteen. Fourteen twenty one. Need one more Five. QIC. Done, done. Two or three knowledge. <coughs> That's all done. And there, three more or six more money. And six power. Or one. It's the end of the Cavs Celtics game, so they're all a little pretty. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Uh, nice. All right. Uh, yellow, begin. Final round. Can you tell me exactly, terror, what, exactly what that one is? All right. Exactly yeah. is. Oh, good call. I see that. That is. So it's gray. When you gain the tile. When you gain the tile, you get two points for every bad boy that's on the board. So, yeah, I will get that one because we can't let Amanda have it. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's four QIC for that. this. And I'll there, that. which it flips one of your Federation tokens over. Does it? Oh, crap. Well, I, don't right? have, I don't have one. Ooh. All right, so can I... You have to be in four or five, and, yeah. you, and to be able to gain one of them. Let me double check. Yeah, let me so I can double gain it. check. Gaining a tech tile. Here we go. Um, instead of taking a standard tech, you can take an advanced tech. When you take an advanced tech, you may advance in any research area. Three conditions level four or five. You have to have a Federation token with the green side face up, and you have to have at least okay, one so you uncovered have, you have to have that standard tech tile. even take it. Correct. All right, we'll, we'll wait then, I guess. Because I can't do it now, and Amanda will get it. 
I might not. Well, I don't. Maybe not. She has to. Have she to has get to get the QIC. it. Right. It's yeah. Hard. <clears throat> okay. Um. Next plan. Plan two. The sequel. Um. <laughs> the planning. Right. I like uh, that. The the Federation. So let's do that. Um. Or not a Federation. If you're grabbing that, you're just gonna upgrade. Well, that would upgrade to two, which would make would make Speculous. it speculos. Nice, upgrade. Eric. So that is one, <coughs> two, three, four, five. This would make it six. Correct. Um, but do I have to pay full price for it? And, can uh, I, and I can't. Can you I cannot. That? I don't think you can upgrade the Lost Planet. And Isaac, I'm sure, can correct me. Or don't think you can. Worth it. Either way, six and two. I'll just upgrade that. And nobody gets that. All right, that's yellow, red. <coughs> right. So, I will upgrade something that doesn't give you all power. So, I will upgrade this bad boy. So, that one will cost me three ore. One, two, three, and five bucks. Five down to seven. There. So, I'll take that one off. Put that one out. Nobody gets any power for it. I will get another tech. I actually... I think. But the problem is that doesn't get me a boost up in that row. That's worth four, the five points, and the second. Yeah, that's worth it. I will do that. You have to cover up one of those. I will do so. That flips that. And done. Okay, I'm going to spend that to get one money. Yep, no upgrade on the last planet. Yep. Then I'm going to spend six and six, so that takes me to zero, and a five to replace this and give me that tile that Matt did not want me to have, please. So that you have to have one that is uncovered, which you do, which I'm going to assume, and you immediately get two points per mine. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen points. Well done. 2 to 42. Somebody's closer. There we go. Matt. Well, I don't want to do anything anymore. <laughs> but <clears throat> he, that, said our the end. Uh, Yep. Matt. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make the Federation because now there is one. No, wait. Okay, just kidding. Nope. Psych. My power is not in the correct place yet for that to happen. And nobody's going to take that from me. I can do that. All right. So I'll do that. Then I can spend said power. Then I can turn in satellites when it's less useful. I will take the five bucks in the QIC. There we go. Done. Ah, you're fine, day glues. You're good. All right. Amanda? <coughs> I'm going to burn one power to move one over, then spend seven to get three knowledge, please. Matt? All right. I'll spend these first. I'll spend the two and take that one. Oh, you suck so bad. Glory to Rome, dude. Right. You've got a lot of glory to Rome. <laughs> so, all right. There's five tonight. So it's three plus... One per planet type. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Two and eight. Well done. Ha oh, ha ha, that was dirty. Well... You can blame the dirtiness that was done to me before. Hi. Hmm. That went that plan. All right, so what do we got? What do we do now? I am red.
Mm. That that hurt. That was painful. That was really mean. Um. So are those QIC spent in front of you? No. Really? I just spent these two. I had five. How many do you have? You have three left? Mm -hmm. God, you suck so bad. Well, all right. Um, wow, that's really unfortunate. Okay. And I can't reach... The only green planets left, there are only <coughs> two, and I can't reach it. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, and I'm... Oh, that's not true. That is not true. I have a range of two. Make that a range of four. <coughs> nice. Good enough. Range of four. One, two, three, and four. So I will go ahead and ter uh, get that for two and one. Put that bad boy there, and that'll be four points red. One, two, three... And one more on the green. One, two, three. So I'm on four of them total. All right, done. Mm. Hey, Josh. Welcome. In space, no one can hear you cry. All right. I am going to go here and get my QIC. Matt? Matt? <laughs> spend you passed, you said? I'm going to spend these four and okay. get the seven money. Hmm. Cute. <sighs> Back to me. I'll spend the four knowledge. Bump up there. Ranger three, done. It was, Rob, but still, five is a group. We are a collective herd here, including the peanut gallery. I will spend four knowledge to go up on the green track and get a QIC. QIC. Matt? I will go ahead and make this federation here. That's so one, two, three, four, five, six, which is all I need. Yep, so two satellites, yeah, so it's two power. I spent them. They're able to be done, and I'll take the 12 points. Seems short-sighted, are you sure? Yeah, I think so. 63. <clears throat> oh, snap! Just realized something. Wow. That's exciting. I'm red, right? Yes, I'm red. Um, right. I totally overlooked something. I don't know if I want to say it out loud yet. Yeah, mm. yeah, we will. I forgot I can turn money into QIC, so 12 mm -hmm. bucks. There's 10, 11, 12, which gives me three QIC. Make it four. There. Uh, so that'll give me any one tech. There. Into it. Yeah, I didn't. It's more or less denial more than anything. Actually, that keeps Amanda from... Ah. And this one is what with the green? I, this, mean, I, I think the know. green is... Is the green this term and the other ones are recursive? Green is every time you advance. Yes. Yeah, so there you go. Green is going forward. How many different planets am I on? Help me out. One, two, three... Four. 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 So that give me four knowledge. Which leaves me one short for that. 
Um, <coughs> to be able to, that would be, a to mm, I'm short. Uh, you know what? I think I actually let Amanda have it. Take one QIC back, which means I can redo one of these. So I will go and get the eight points in the QIC. So eight, three, there, done. <coughs> All right. Quarter to Rome again, because I'm going to rescore the 12 points. Oh. <laughs> and you put it over there. It's like, oh, I've got this now. Nobody can take it from me now. Yeah. No, just no, redo no, that's it. it. Yeah. Just go back and take that. <laughs> And game state had not changed. I had no. Uh, I know you. You were well within your rights. No, nope. <laughs> sucked. <Yeah. laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tense game. Mm -hmm. Much more competitive than last night. It is. What you thinking, Matt? I'm thinking it's Amanda's turn. It is, oh, it in is. fact. Yep. My Good bad, call. sorry. short no matter what all right what do you think amanda i spend four knowledge to go up on the green track please okay two qic and three power matt So I'm going to spend four as well, and I'm going to go up on the green track as well. You are yellow. Two QIC, sir. All right, so it's my turn. I could get this if I wanted to, but it doesn't help me anywhere. I can't see, because I, I will score no points. It's denial, I suppose. Um, which points, yeah, you know what? It sacrifices two points for me, but I think net it works out. So two QIC, two QIC is eight bucks. Eight drops that to five there. Two QIC plus that is four there, just to be able to keep everybody from being able to do it. Um, in case I can figure out Got that, could get that, which is one more, but that doesn't help me either. Already have that, that's not gonna help me. Doesn't, doesn't, one or maybe that works, so there, and a QIC, done. All right, I'm gonna spend three or as two money and one or to place this here. And four points for blue. Mm -hmm. Matt, I'm just curious. I didn't get cussed for this, so nobody was planning on doing that, huh? Oh, I was. I, I, cussed, <coughs> I gave you glory room for that one. No, this one. Oh, that? Well, Yeah. I could have done it, but it wasn't necessary. 100% necessary. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to place a mine way out here, which is one, two, three, four. Oh, not quite far enough, but we'll make it far enough. And then one, and two, and there we go. There. Well done. Well, I'm in third, no matter what, on that. And I'm second, no matter what, in that. I don't know that there's a ton left for me to do, honestly. I have some ore and some money, so total of... 
any mix of these, so that's going to be a total of seven, so that's going to be two points at the end. Uh, spending it doesn't, uh, hold on, seven, eight, nine. There it is. I'll spend that four, and whether it's two ore or two knowledge, I'll go and get the two ore done. Da, 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 da. I think I'm done though. Six. Crap. I think I'm done. Two. I don't think I can catch Matt. Three, four, five, three, four. Nope. Best I can tell, Matt, you beat me by four points, I think. And I, can't, I haven't figured out Amanda's yet. <clears throat> yeah, because we're cancel each other out there. Yep. I'm going to do four power. And Matt? Hey, Ian. Hey, Ian. Glad right, you made it. So, just need one more of those. 13. Somewhere. Lucky 13, Eric. Nice. Don't think it really helps me to... Spending resources does hurt you, though. Remember that. Oh, yeah. This helps more than it hurts. Okay. <clears throat> just distance-wise, I don't think it matters. I'm going to put it there. Okay. That's one. So, I'm going to spend three QIC for the for three, three ore that I would yep. need to do that. Then I've got... One, two, to put it there, and ooh, snap! I'm done. There's nothing else that I can figure out, so I will get nine points for that. And done. Oh, you're at eleven too. Okay. Well. <laughs> <coughs> I can't Don't reach think I can do that, that there. There's no way I can reach it. Unless there's something I'm missing, but that's, yeah, they're all built other than that one. And there's no way I can reach that. Don't think there's any. So that would be five away. One, two, three, four. No, it's six away and I'm not far. I'm too far away. Yep. Right. So I'm out of mines. I have no money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four. Out loud. So I have eight power here. So that's four. So that's four. Which means two knowledge, a terraform, or two extra power, which doesn't do you much. No, but I could get I just I'm trying to figure out if I can get to another green planet. There's only one green planet to go. That's Here. it. But I you need, need a, a range of three, which you have. Which I have, but I need a mine, which I don't. So I have to upgrade a mine, oh. get it back, and then be able to put it down. I don't see any way to do so that much. So I would need three, four, five money. And three ore. And three ore, which I have. I have four QIC and four here. So that could be... Four or which you only need three and spend money for the other so that would be spend money hmm? what do you mean 
I can spend power spend oh. or and power and power for money. So that would be four money. You only get one action at a time. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, what are you doing? I'm gonna finagle this to where I can do it. You you can't build and upgrade in the same turn. I understand so, that. Then but do I can one do all at of a time. Okay. So then I can do four money, which would be yeah, that. you can do all the free actions. Right. Okay. So that would be four money there. Mm-hmm. And then, so that would give me, I needed, so that would be down to three, three more. Okay. You still haven't done anything. So I'm going to upgrade this one. Okay. With three money and two ore right there. And yellow, do you want one power, two power for one point? No. Okay. I've passed. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right, yellow. <clears throat> yeah, I may pass as well. Listen, there's a yellow planet out there. I don't see that I can put something on. Yeah, I don't think there is. And by the way, for those saying uh, for yellow, he can't. Yeah, I don't have one of those. I don't know what that is. Right. I don't, I don't do that. That's why he can't do <coughs> that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, yeah, Amanda. Oh, gonna, that's right. Yep. So you better back up and get one less ore. Yeah. I'll get one less money. And you have money. one. Let's yeah. see. So, Matt? Thanks, Isaac. Yeah, well, I don't have. know anything else. So you have to have access to that and spend. Okay, got it. No, that's... Gaia planets can be made habitable by paying one QIC. Your home planet has no impact on the cost. Matt? Yeah, I think I'm done. Yep. I think Matt wins, but that cost him 10 points, so we'll see how it goes. Two and one for there. And Amanda gets another there. Well, actually, it cost him more than that. Ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, you don't need a guy forward to build on a green planet? You do not. You have to have access to it. Okay. And hold on, because it's in parentheses. So we understood. So okay, yeah. So so the so the the iconography sucks. Yes. For this one thing, so Gaia projects include ten different planet types. Only one. Da, 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 da. To build a mine on a planet other than your home planet type, you must follow the following rules. For Gaia planets can be made habitable by paying one QIC. Your home planet type has no impact. The cost to make a ha Gaia a planet habitable is shown on your faction board. So my question then is, if all you need is the QIC, why is the Gaia... In parentheses. Yeah. yeah, why is that there? To me, that means you have to have access to it and then spend a QIC. So yeah, that this is the one mm -hmm. really confusing aspect of this. Because yeah. I totally would if I could. I've got that. Mm -hmm. Isaac, uh, Ian's screaming. <laughs> so then I could have put my Gaia former there and not pay the QIC. Well, wait, because this actually, because I think this determines the winner of the game here. It's an alternative cost. You don't need the QIC <coughs> if your Gaia former is there. So the Gaia former is if you had turned a transdim planet into a Gaia planet, then is what oh. you're saying, correct? So what if you, but uh, that but does you not, can't reserve it. That does not mean you don't have to have access to the Gaia former. Correct. You no. don't have to. Because okay. if that's the case, that's then Matt the case, could yeah. have done that. Matt would have done that because it was before me. Right. Okay. So back Actually, here's up, Amanda. I don't know that Matt could have, because Matt would have needed the QIC to build the 
thing in the begin to begin with. Oh, you only have one QIC, which you yeah. need to spend to be able to do that, and you need I the QIC for the I probably would have done a lot of other things differently had I done that. <coughs> Fair <but> enough. <coughs> yeah, I still actually... All right. Cool. Wait, All right. hold on. Hold on. What? Hold on. Holding. Because I've, I've got... You need one ore. I don't think I can get it anywhere. I was looking here to see if... Nope. Uh, you, the only way to get ore is spend the QIC, but if you spend the QIC, you then can't terraform. Yeah. There you go. So, nope. Oh, well. Wow. All right, so we go into final scoring. That's the end of the game. We, the, we don't go into the reset phase because there is no reset phase. So, whoo! That's interesting. All right. End of game. There we go. So Amanda's going to get 18 for oh, first. Oh, I should have gotten four points for that as well. Touche. Four there. Then 18 is 68. For that red, uh, I get 12. 171. No, for what? Matt. No, I, no, I do. Hold on. Can, can, can we score the top one? Oh, sure. And Matt gets nothing for that. Huh. Working our way down, Amanda gets 18. 286. Matt gets 12, 75, and I get 6, 4, 5, 6. Then we go into the research scoring. So we'll start with Amanda in first here. So she's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 points apiece, 16 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 12 more is 102 for Amanda. Red is one, two, three, four, five, which is 20. Uh, what is that? That's uh, 77, 97. And, and Matt gets same. five, which is 20. That makes that real easy at 95. Then convert your resources uh, for every three credits, knowledge, or ore you have in any combination. I have a total of nine, three points for red. Hmm. Hit 100. Hmm. Matt? One point. One. And Amanda? Zero. And there you go. And 10 points would work. It would have. That would have been yeah. the difference. Wow. Uh, so Amanda wins. 102. I come in second. Hashtag good teacher at 100. And Matt, that, that's the tightest game I've played. Yeah. Uh, I've seen of yeah. this at 96. Thank you for playing. Whew. Wow. So that was really interesting. So you were one QIC short from being able to win the game because mm -hmm. that's a 10 point. That, that's actually more than 10 points because... Yeah, I you didn't realize, made, yeah, I, didn't realize I could mess. do that. And the iconography is terrible mm -hmm. in that respect. So, yeah, all right, yeah. fair enough. So there we go. Whew, all right. Wow, that was a game. Yep. Interesting. That's the exact reason why my first game didn't go down well for me, Ian. And hashtag yeah. graphic designer. Mm -hmm. All right, so Matt, what do you think outside of the end? Oh, yeah, right yeah. There no, with I, that? I still enjoy this game quite a bit. Um, <coughs> It's in my wheelhouse of, you know, heavy euros with interesting mechanics and stuff. Like it's, it's Terra Mystica plus mm -hmm. um, two point maybe, maybe even further than that, maybe like five point <laughs> in some cases. But um, this is great. That and this is that. This is my third game of it, so I finally feel like I'm starting to get a handle on everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I really enjoy it. I say Mira, it's just it's Terra Mystica and more and better. Um, I think it's an improvement on the system. I really is. do. It's just, like you said at the beginning, it feels like it's a more developed Terra Mystica. It's much better. And somebody asked last night if we feel like all the races are balanced. We haven't played it enough mm -hmm. to be able to definitively say. I, I would defer to those that have 30, 40 plays a Gaia project already and say whether or not that is. Um, and James is like, is it golden enough for the elephant? <laughs> uh, so it's a golden elephant award finalist for 2017. So it's one of the six finalists. You'll so find out you'll, next week. You'll, you'll find out next week at HeavyCon, right? Um, okay, oh, so Sid Arth. All right. That, so our, our job here is done. Yep. Like, like we said, our job is not to sell the game. Our job is to help you make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, I mean, it's a Golden Elephant Award finalist for a reason. I think it's a it's a viable, a, 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 a worthy yeah, finalist definitely. for the award. Um, I think it plays well three and four. And I, 
the thing I really like uh, is just the it's variability. Change how it goes and the setup. It doesn't have to be. Now we had it set up uh, as the standard setup, which we normally do for the first time we stream something like this. Uh, in the future, if we stream this, we could do it two, three, or four, and with a different setup, different races, the whole nine yards. And it's, yeah, color me, color me impressed. I think this is definitely a, a good step and a good improvement. I find it interesting, though, that they just announced a expansion for Terra Mystica, which... It seems weird. I For me, I'm not big on... Is this a killer of a game? I think there's plenty of room for whatever games that you want in your collection. That said, I will never want to play Terra Mystica after having played Gaia Project. There is zero For me, interest. this is almost like Brass Birmingham versus Brass Lancashire a little bit. Because mm. it's the same thing, but different. It's interesting. See, and I, I haven't gotten to that point with mm -hmm. the original Brass, so I don't know that I would agree. Um... Not in terms of quality, just in terms of taste. It's the same for, game, yeah, yeah. but it's different in a way. Uh, so let's <coughs> see. Um, James says uh, puts Terra Mystica on the trading block for him. Also plays well at two due to the modular board and the solo play, which I'll be honest, we have not played the mm -hmm. solo play. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about it, so there's that. Uh, map's very loose and not much blockage. Yeah, but there's plenty over there, so... <laughs> there is, yeah. and it, it does, it does, I mean, you guys saw how much interaction there was, especially in the last couple rounds. Yeah, the Glory to Rome board shows it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a really good game. I really enjoy this, and I, I'll be honest, I enjoy it a whole lot more when we got, when, uh, oh yeah, I guess I should say that, uh, Z-Man slash Day sent us a review copy mm -hmm. this um, I was like, eh, because we were both kind of lukewarm yeah. on Terra Mystica, and you really enjoy Terra Mystica, mm -hmm. though, right? Yeah. And I was just like, eh, yeah, whatever. And then uh, a couple months ago, you were like, yeah, let's bust this out. Mm -hmm. So we did, and yeah, color me impressed. It's definitely a, a step in the right direction yeah, as far sure. as I'm uh, a caffeine solo play. Maybe mm -hmm. that could happen NBO later on this summer, for sure. Um, Victor, I would check BGG. I'm not sure where that got announced. I can't remember. Um, yes, Amanda won, Vince. And less interact. Um, okay. Cool. That'll work. All right. So that's it. Yeah. It's, uh, that was a lot of fun. I had fun. You all had fun? I did. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And hopefully you all did. Uh, yeah. Like and subscribe because it helps the show. We would definitely appreciate it. Thanks everybody watching live. The 691 patrons we have if you guys want to support the show uh, it's scrolling somewhere down there pledgehc.com also don't forget about the podcast if you watch this on youtube which if you're watching this you're watching, watching it, it on, on youtube, YouTube uh, check out the podcast uh, we do interviews reviews, reviews. that's the majority of all, all of our reviews are via the podcast uh, check it out heavycardboard.com anything yes. else I don't think so. No? No. Cool. Uh, I'm doing an Ask the Elephant tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So if you all want to come hang out and ask me pretty much under the, anything you want to ask, and I reserve the right to not answer it, that'll be fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm Edward. I'm Amanda. I'm Matt. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Good night.